installment of East Point Eats Well. Um, how many first timers? Alright, and you were here last time, right? Okay. Well, welcome, halfway welcome back. We appreciate you for coming back. Um, so what we're doing, um, we also have Jovita here. Hi guys. I'm the principal at Brookfield Elementary, so thank you guys. Thanks for being here. This is a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful part partnership uh, with the City of East Point. You know, Mayor Dean and Ingram is also a big influential part of, of course, Brookfield Elementary School. And then myself, I'm Chef Devon. Uh, my company's called Edge. Everyone deserves great experiences. And what we're, what we're targeting here today is really educating the community on healthy eating habits. Um, letting you know that it's, number one, health is well. That's what we're moving forward with. In 2019 and beyond, we want everyone to understand that health is well. Um, with that being said, Fresh, locally grown fruits and vegetables are an integral part of our diets, of our children's diets, because we're, you know, we're the current and then our children are the future. So we want to make sure that we're we're setting ourselves up for success uh, with regard to these things. So East, um, with the East Point E12 movement, we teamed up with Metro Atlanta Urban Farm. It's on Main Street in College Park and East Point is right there on that little cusp. Um, and they give us the vegetables every quarter. So today we're going to feature Rainbow radish, garlic, yellow onion, and fresh collards. And what we're gonna do, the goal is to kind of show you a live demonstration of cooking these things right here. So you see that it doesn't take a lot of time, and it doesn't take a lot of extra ingredients to make the food, healthy food, taste really, really good. So um, once we finish these demonstrations, you're able to get one of the bags. Inside of the bags is everything that you see here and you're able to take those things home. There's a recipe card in there, and you can actually make that at home for your family. In addition to that, there's some health information in those bags. There's some little goodies in the bags. So it's just a lot of good things that really take home so that you continue this process. So we only do it here. It only starts here. You then take this home with you, and you continue the process, and then we'll have another one in March. Uh, so, all right, so anyone ever heard of a watermelon radish? What do you think? Why do you think it's called a watermelon radish? Because of the color. Okay. You said because of the color. Anyone else have any other guesses? It's made of water. It's made of water. <laughs> uh, so primarily, as you mentioned, it's called the color. So once you cut open a watermelon radish, it's red on the inside. So it's like the green on the outside for watermelon, and it's red on the inside. Same here. This one's just a little more red all the way throughout. Um, one thing about this, we're going to do a stir fry. We're going to stir fry the collards with some onions, some garlic, and the watermelon radish. Uh, everyone can just, if y'all can get in the best you can, it's a family affair. Um, another thing about the watermelon radish, you can also cook the greens. You can wash the tops, you can saute those with onion and garlic, just like you would do kale or spinach or anything else. Healthy portion as well. So this could also be a part of your stir fry if you wanted to do that as well. So we start by cutting out both ends. And I, as I always, when I do my demonstrations, I always also like to show, you know, teach a lot of cooking tips. So anytime you're going to do any type of cutting, slicing, you want to make sure that you have a flat surface. A lot of times people are trying to cut stuff on a round surface, and that's how you end up cutting it out. So you want to establish a flat surface first. We did that. See, that's a beautiful color on the inside. Pretty, yeah. So then we want to go down and just slice. And I can go right in the pan. You want to have that pan on medium high when you're cooking that. And again, we have uh, recipe cards in all the bags. So when you take those home, you have a recipe card in there. You can follow those instructions and it's really, really easy. Down in there, I use grapeseed oil. So it's really important the type of oil that 